I'd say my style as a painter is really contrasty. Um, I really like low riders. Um, and I really like busy. Like, if it's too busy, it's just like my favorite thing. <laughs> my name is Paige Macy. <laughs> Clark, no. <laughs> But when I got the call, I was like stoked. I almost like couldn't believe it, you know? And then I'm like, well, what am I gonna do? Like, what kind of paint job am I gonna do? This is definitely like the biggest thing I've ever painted. I've painted baggers, and there's a ton of different parts with baggers, but this is like my first full-size kind of car. Usually with bike parts, you tape somewhere this big, you know? And this thing, you just like run your tape all the way to the end and you're good. So I feel like this is my chance to not do what I always do. It was fun, I like painting this thing. <laughs> just talking with Elaine, she's just like a super positive person. She's really excited about the whole project. She's been super easy to work with and she's been laid back. She's like, just, just have fun and do your thing and make sure it looks <laughs> like a house of color car. And I'm like, well, definitely. So no, Elaine's been great. Taylor is here for <laughs> emotional support. <laughs> Um, and also, like, because we did have a tight timeline, like, we, I did need help. And we worked through a team through the whole thing. So he'd paint and I'd tape, or I'd paint and he'd tape, or right now he is um, striping the car. I'd say it's pretty similar to mine. You can definitely tell the difference between our paint jobs, but I feel like as far as layouts and all that stuff, I feel like we're into the same thing. I feel like it doesn't look like a lot of my work, but that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted it to be old school and bright and just different. I just really wanted to do something different. I just wanted to keep like a warm color tone with this car and just have like a little bit of blue going through it just to like even it out. I thought about pink and red and all that stuff and I just it just didn't work out. Kind of goes with that whole vibe. It's like kind of old school hot roddy and I feel like Gold Leaf is very old school. So it just matched the whole car like perfectly. <laughs> We would get a really clean color, like an orange or a yellow, and then we would just make it kind of dirty and vintage so we could add on top of it. So the whole car was done with the Shimmerin 2, the House of Color Shimmerin 2 uh, system. Um, we pretty much mixed all of the colors for this car just because we wanted it to be kind of vintagey and dirty. Uh, for the candies, we did a tangerine. We wanted to brighten it up, so we did a little bit of pagan gold but we also wanted to make it dirty, so we did a little bit of root beer in there um, and mixed it up and it was perfect. <laughs>